so what I'm doing here, I'm going to poke a, a worm screw hole in the end of this. I've just eyeballed a kind of a, a middle point and I'm eyeballing it with holding the drill. Just, just to get a worm, I know this is way too punky and way too light to hold on to that worm screw it for any length of time. So I'm going to put a good deep worm screw hole in here. And then I'm going to, I'm going to, um, ooh, spider. I'm going spider hunting right now. I don't like spiders. They bite me. Let me wind up with some of those in my hair while I'm doing this. So, just long enough I want the worm screw in there to be able to turn a tenon that I can get a good grip on it with. So, in order to firm that up, I'm going to dribble some CA glue in there. Super glue. I don't have CA glue. That's the expensive stuff. Same stuff, right? It works. I'll dribble some of that in there, let it dry. Always let it dry before you put the room, worm screw in there if you want to take the worm screw out without breaking a bunch of wood. So, I'm going to drill the hole, I'm going to put some, okay, I already said that. There's something in here. I'm going in. Let's find out, shall we? Well, it's harder than it looks. Or that Forstner bit's a lot duller than I think it is. There we go. Yeah, I work at night. So here's the hole. There's the hole. I, this is the first time I've tried to do this. So I don't know whether you're seeing what I'm seeing or not. In any case, there's the hole. There's the hole. Here's the CA, super glue, Loctite, it must be good, right? Let's squeeze some of that in there, if it's not plugged up, squeeze the round in there, set the bottle aside right side up if you don't mind. And then roll it around, let it dribble out, I don't care. Just roll it around. Let a good bunch of it dribble out, in fact. There's more in there than I need. Couldn't see how much was coming out. So there you go. Which I think it's pretty well coated. Now let's watch glue dry, shall we? All right then, I think that's nicely toughened up now. We'll find out when I stick the worm screw in there, won't I? We. Let's see, shall we? Hole. Worm screw. Screwing. Another thing I worry about with this a little bit, excuse me, wrench, is that the screw itself might actually split the wood. But it shouldn't, I hope. It's going in, it feels like it's good and firm. It doesn't feel like it's being glued in. That's good news. I don't know how wobbly this is going to be. I love wacky pieces of wood, but if it, uh, if it sends the old shopsmith walking across the floor, it's a little too wobbly. Chuck. Nova G3. Lots of shellac and stuff all over it. I'm pretty messy. Bring this over here. Can you see that?
Yeah, I guess you can. I can't look in the back of the camera while the front of the camera is over there and I'm over here. And it's way up there, so I have to stand on my tippy toes to see the back of it. Gotta walk around the other side. So, Chucky. Bride of Chucky. Oh, I have to back that out a little bit. Okay, screw is tightened in. Bride of Chucky is tightened up. Oh, just long enough, please, to get a tenon on this end, which I will also toughen up with some, some uh, super glue. Let's see what happens when I, when I apply the electricity. And that's what happens when I apply the electricity. You're going to have to think of something else. I'm thinking now that I'm going to have to... Wow, just took the super glue right out of there. That's some really punky wood. That should have worked. Worked really well with the last piece of hackberry I did. And hackberry is bad about coming off worm screws. I've gotten very fond of my faceplate lately. I think I'll try to at least get three screws of a faceplate on that. Maybe four. Trouble is I have to take the faceplate off the thing I was working on before I decided to start this. That's okay. I hope. I'll be back. <laughs>